It doesn't mean that if you only have the male, you only study the male. You have to study both. So you must be working and studying with a partner. Ama, ama ina ano ko ng kapitin ko. Okay, so you now try to cut more of this man's head. Excuse me, girls. Eh, may ay baro forcep. Okay, then try to remove the parietal peritoneum because the kidney is covered by the parietal peritoneum, and you don't call the kidney of the shark kidney. You call it opistonephros because the kidney is very primitive. So, put it on YouTube, so that you can see. Do YouTube, pa yan na. So be very careful in removing this. You might be cutting some delicate parts. So be careful. Remove the parietal peritoneum little by little. No. Okay, after doing that, lift. Lift the what you have exposed there. Lift. And then what you will see now here is the upper part of the opistone from the kidney, which is reproductive in function. So you call this epididymis. On top of the epididymis is a very coiled uh, tube. And we call that as the epididymidal duct. And then you try to look for the, the seminal vesicle. This is now the seminal vesicle, which is very big. There. There. You try to separate the seminal vesicle from the from the from the office to nephros. Okay, so it's more or less uh, exposed. So this is now the testis. The testis is paired. You have the left and the right. Then you have the epi efferent ductules. And this is now the mesorchium. The mesor the efferent ductules will now be found on the surface of the epididymis. So I see it's very coiled. Kita mo. And the one to which it is attached to is now the epididymis. So the epididymidal duct become less coiled. And once it becomes less coiled, this one, we call this as the ductus deferens. And then it becomes bigger in diameter. Once it becomes bigger in diameter, it's now called seminal vesicle. And the one that at the back, the one dorsal to it, is now the opistonephros. The other parts are so small of which you wouldn't be able to see them. So remove one of the pelvic fin together with one of the clasped there. So the point of entry, there is something inside. <laughs> Ayan. So, this is not the point of entry of the colon to the cloaca is what you call coprodeum. The one that you can see here is now the urodeum. So, 
this one will join together and will now form the urogenital papilla with an opening at the tip four. Then right after the papilla, you will now see the proctodeum and this one is the anus. So the papilla here is not clear, very clear. Dello, the papilla. Okay. Female. Yes. Yes.